So we know there are no monsters under the bed, right? Yeah, there's nothing under there, except maybe some dust bunnies, <laughs> maybe an old sock or two, but definitely no monsters. Can you imagine if there weren't monsters under the bed, but rather monsters on the bed? That would be silly. And what if those monsters were jumping on the bed? That's a dangerous thing to do if you're a person. And I think it's even more dangerous if you're a monster. So I bet those monsters would get hurt jumping on the bed. Do you know this song? It's about five monsters jumping on the bed. You can count along with me. One, two, three, four, five. And you can even jump along with me, just not on your bed, okay? Let's sing about those silly monsters. Five little monsters jumping on the bed. One falls off and bumps his head. Mama calls the doctor and the doctor said, no more monsters jumping on the bed. Four little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monsters jumping on the bed. Three little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monsters jumping on the bed. Two little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monsters jumping on the bed. One little monster jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monsters jumping on the bed. I hope those silly monsters listen to their mama and don't jump on the bed anymore. If you were a monster, what kind of monster would you be? Would you be a monster with lots of long tentacles? Can you make tentacle arms with me like this? What if you were a monster who had four eyes? One, two, three, four. Can you have four eyeballs with me? <gasps> or maybe you would have long, scary monster claws. How do you do monster claws? <gasps> so scary. But I don't think those monsters were scary. I think they were silly monsters. And I hope that they're not going to jump anymore and that they listen to Mama Monster and go right to sleep. Maybe they wear monster pajamas. Good night, silly monsters. Eddie, what's the matter? I'm scared. Why are you scared? There are monsters under my bed. There are monsters under your bed? Yes. Is that why you're having so much trouble sleeping? Yeah, it's scary. Oh, Eddie, I understand why you're scared. And you do? I do. Because when your bedroom is dark at night, is that scary for you? Yeah. Yeah. But do you know there actually aren't any monsters under your bed? What? Monsters are just imaginary. They're just pretend. But there are some under my bed, right? Well, I, I don't think so. Can I tell you about something? Yes, please. I'm going to tell you about shadows. 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 Have you ever been out walking on a sunny day and then you see a dark outline of yourself right yeah. behind you? Yeah, what is that? And that's your shadow. Oh, shadow. That's shadow. a fun word. It is fun to say, isn't it? And at night, when there's just a little bit of light, those shadows in your bedroom can look kind of spooky. 
Mm -hmm. Are shadows monsters? No, shadows are just light casting on an object, and then behind it, there's no light. Oh. Because the light can't hit it. That's not so scary. No, because the light is just shining on the object. So behind it, there's no light. Oh. So a shadow is just the absence of light. Huh. It's not scary at all, is it? Nope. And sometimes when you're in the dark in your bedroom, things that you see every single day might look a little bit spooky because you can't actually see them very clearly in the dark. Oh. So imagine a coat rack in your bedroom and you're hanging your hats on it and you're hanging your sweater on it. In the daytime, that looks like a very friendly, helpful rack, right? Yeah. But at night, maybe it looks like branches on a spooky tree. <gasps> and maybe that sweater hanging on it might look like a monster <gasps> blowing in the wind. <gasps> but Eddie, it's just a rack. Oh, no it just, monster? No monster. It just looks different in the dark. Oh. Mm -hmm. And if you peek under your bed, maybe the things that are under your bed, like a tennis ball or a shoe, those are normal things in the daytime, right? Yeah. And they just look a little bit scarier in the dark. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that tennis ball is a monster. Oh. It's still a ball. Are you afraid of balls? Nope. No, I didn't think so. So the next time you're afraid of that monster under your bed, you tell yourself, there's not a monster there. It's just my bed and my toys under my bed. Oh. And if you see your scary coat rack, remind yourself, that's not a spooky tree. It's just a coat rack and that's just a sweater. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you see any monsters? I don't see any monsters. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Do you see any monsters? I don't see any monsters. So don't, don't be scared. There's nothing hiding under your bed so you can rest your sleepy head. Do you see any monsters? I don't see any monsters. There's nothing don't. there. There's nothing there. Do you see any monsters? I don't see any monsters. So I'm not scared. I hope you have sweet dreams now, Eddie. You too. Thank you. Have you ever had a bad dream? Sometimes I have bad dreams and I don't like them one bit, but I have found a way to turn my bad dreams around. I take my bad dreams and I turn them into nice dreams or even funny dreams. So I want to share with you how I do that. Okay, so imagine you're dreaming about a big thunderstorm and it's scary because the lightning is flashing in the sky. The thunder is booming. Can you make a booming thunder sound? Boom! And that makes me feel really, really scared. So do you know what I do? I pretend that lightning is actually a rainbow. Aww, and now there's a rainbow in the sky. It's much more beautiful than lightning. And I even pretend that the heavy sheets of rain are actually candies. And there's candy falling from the sky. Wow. This looks like a much more delicious, beautiful storm. That's not scary at all. It's raining lemon drops and gumdrops. Let's open our mouths wide. If all of the raindrops are lemon drops and gumdrops, oh, what a rain that would be. I look to the sky with my mouth open wide, singing ah, 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 ah. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gumdrops, oh, what a rain that would be. If all of the snowflakes were chocolate bars and milkshakes, oh, what a snow that would be. I'd look to the sky with my mouth open wide, singing ah, 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 ah. All of the snowflakes with chocolate bars and milkshakes Oh, what a snow that would be If all of the sunbeams were lemonade and ice cream Oh, what a 
what a song that would be. I'd look to the sky with my mouth open wide, singing ah, 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 ah. If all of the sunbeams would laminate an ice cream, oh, what a song that would be. Now what if you were dreaming about a giant spider with eight creepy crawly legs and it's crawling towards you? Oh no, that's a really scary nightmare for me. But what if we turn it around and make it super silly? So instead of that spider creepy crawling towards you, what if the spider is on? roller skates and the spider is roller skating all over the place. <laughs> I think the spider would have a lot of trouble keeping its balance on roller skates. Eight is a lot of legs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. It's looking sillier already. Look at all those roller skates. Five. <laughs> Six. How many legs did the spider have? We're almost there. Seven. And eight. A spider has eight legs, so this spider has eight roller skates. <laughs> He will be flopping all over the place. I'm not afraid of you, silly spider. And that's not a bad dream anymore. And that's a dream where we can laugh. Gimme. Eddie. Do you want to play a game with me? I love games. I would love to play a game with you. This one's called Build the Monster. Build the Monster? <laughs> Is it a scary monster? No, I don't think so. I think it's a friendly monster. Okay, then I would definitely like to play with you. It's right there. That's the monster. Yep. Eddie, it's just a blue blob. We need to build it, silly. Oh, okay, so where do we start? Hmm, how about an eye? An eye, so he can see us. I have yes. an eye right here. Great. Where does it go? Hmm, my eyes are on my face. I'm confused about the monster. Maybe on the circle spot on the top of the head? Oh, that looks like a perfect spot for an eye. Yeah. Okay, he has a great eye. Now he can see us, but he only has one. Hmm, maybe two would be better? I think you're right, two. So one eye and two eyes. And now he can see us Yay. really, really well. Hi, monster. Hi, monster. Is that it? No, the monster needs a mouth. Oh, a mouth for smiling. Yeah. Oh. Hmm, does it go down here? Hmm. Is that too low? Maybe. Hmm, how about that? Hmm, too high. Too high. How about that? <sighs> Just right. Perfect. Two eyes, one mouth. And how does he get around? Does he roll? Hmm, maybe feet? Oh, feet, yeah. I have one foot. One foot. Aw. How about two feet? Two feet. Two feet. Perfect. Two feet. Two I, feet. I like his toes. Me too. Now, should he, should he have something to pick things up? Maybe some hands or arms? Hands, yeah. How many should he have? Maybe two. Two, that's perfect. Great. One. One. One hand. And two. Two hands. Two hands. Yay. Now, Eddie, what is this? That looks like a tail? A tail, yeah. yeah. Let's give our monster a tail. Right. Aww. Wow, that is a very Hi, funny. pretty monster. Hi, monster. Oh, I love him. Thank you for playing a game with me. That was fun. Now, the last bad dream that I have sometimes is about a monster. And the monster has big horns and the monster has sharp teeth, and the monster only has one eye. <gasps> that's called a cyclops, and that's really, really, really scary. And I don't wanna have a nightmare like that, so what do I do? I got it. I pretend that monster is going to a party. 
So I'm going to make him a silly monster. I am going to give him a silly monster mustache. Oh, you look very fancy, Mr. Silly Monster. I'm going to give him a silly monster party hat. Maybe it's his birthday and he's celebrating. Maybe he's turning five years old. There's your party hat, Mr. Silly Monster. And I think what we can do to that silly monster to make him not even scary one little bit is silly heart sunglasses. Ah, how does he wear them? He only has one eye. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that must be the funniest, silliest monster I have ever seen. And I am definitely not afraid of him anymore. So the next time you have a bad dream, try your best to turn it around and make it so funny and so silly and so fun that you don't have nightmares anymore. <laughs> Can I show you how to make some shadows? I have some sticks with some shapes on them and we are going to see what kind of shadows they cast on the wall. So let's turn off the lights and give it a try. I know you can't see me, but I promise I'm here. I have a flashlight. A flashlight, and I'm going to hold it in front of my shapes. Now, it is a dark night. There are stars shining in the sky. Look, if I move the star closer to the flashlight, it gets bigger, 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 bigger. And further away, it gets smaller, smaller, smaller. The stars are shining in the sky. And there's a friend walking along the road. But the friend feels nervous because he's in a dark, spooky forest. <gasps> and the trees seem really, really big and they're casting shadows all over the place. And that can seem a little bit scary. And then he sees a shadow fall across the ground. It's a big monster. Ah! Oh, wait a minute. It's a cute little mouse. It scampers across the forest floor. That mouse won't hurt anybody. But then there's a great big dragon flying in the sky. <gasps> oh, it's not a dragon. It's a beautiful butterfly. She's flapping around looking to go home so she can have a big sleep. Oh no, but there's another scary sound. <gasps> There are dark clouds in the sky. The rain starts to fall. And there's lightning. Crash. Oh, that sound must be thunder. Crash. Oh, no. And then on top of the scary clouds and the scary lightning, there's a, a scary beast. What could it be? Oh, it's not a scary beast at all. It's a kitty cat. And the kitty cat is going to leave us home. So that kitty cat that seemed like a big monster, <laughs> it's nothing to be afraid of. I love seeing all these cool shadows. You can even make shadows with your fingers. <gasps> Look, I'm making a bunny with my hands. See those ears? That little bunny nose. We put it close to the light. It's so big. Further away. It's so small. <laughs> that is a cute little bunny. You can try that at home too. So the next time you feel afraid of shadows, don't you worry because you know how shadows are made.